there's another superhero movie who had a big game spot that I didn't talk about. So let's discuss the redheaded stepchild of superhero movies of 2016, X-Men Apocalypse. I feel bad for X-Men Apocalypse because it looks like it's going to be a good movie. It looks like it's going to be at least entertaining, but it's just at the wrong time. There's just too many other superhero films that are just doing some major changes this year. Civil War is putting Avenger against Avenger. Batman and Superman are fighting each other for the first time on the big screen. Ninja Turtles 2 is showing Rocksteady, Bebop, and Krang for the first time. X-Men Apocalypse is another X-Men movie. And that's okay. It's okay to be another X-Men movie. It's just you and you got these other things happening that are so huge with their franchises. And you're just like, well, here's another one hard to have that same hype level, you know? I put it this way. Let's say those movies were 90s, early 2000s R&B singers. If Captain America Civil War is Brandy, and Batman v Superman is Monica, and Ninja Turtles 2 is Aaliyah, and Suicide Squad is Maya, then X-Men Apocalypse would be Samantha Mumba. And there's nothing wrong with being Samantha Mumba. I enjoyed Samantha Mumba. I listened to Samantha Mumba. It's just when you're out there at the same time as Brandy, Monica, Aaliyah, and Maya, you're just Samantha Mumba. That's what you are, X-Men Apocalypse. You're the Samantha Mumba of superhero movies in 2016. I'm wondering how many people are now jumping onto Google and typing, who is Samantha Mumba? <laughs> don't wanna love you if you don't love me. Don't wanna need you if you don't need me to. <laughs> Baby, come on over tonight. <laughs> Oh, Samantha Mumba, <laughs> you were great in the time machine. So most of the footage in the X-Men Apocalypse big game spot are similar to what we saw in the trailer with a couple of exceptions. We saw some bombs going off. We saw some destructions to a city, which I can't tell if that's part of the movie or just part of present day in some cities. And we do see the shot again where Xavier is going up against Apocalypse where Apocalypse grows like he's freaking got shot by Rita Repulsa. Make my Apocalypse grow! By the way, I'm Elizabeth but it slows down this time and you can see his eyes and his eyes like glow like they get all like yellow cat like like he's a freaking thundercat apocalypse is on the move apocalypse is loose but you all know what i got excited for when x-men apocalypse released that first trailer of course it was that shot of storm just coming down bam and just standing up all slow-mo and i was just like Whoa! Stormgasm! I was so excited. I was like, man, that is fine. She looked good. That's a sexy shot. Nothing, I mean nothing, could ever make me think that a shot could be better than that shot in this movie. And this big game spot was like, oh, really? <laughs> we got something for you. Hey, Olivia Munn, you done with those proactive commercials? Come here for a second. <laughs> Olivia Munn comes into Psylocke, and not only does she land in the most sexy manner possible, Boobs up front. I'm sorry. I gotta be man here. Boobs up front. Hot outfit looking fine with serious X-Men apocalypse face. She slices a car in the middle of it. Hey car get out of my way. This is my entrance. Slice. Split. What up? Psylocke bitch. <laughs> I was like yeah! Now that's an attack of the show! <laughs> Damn! Woo! Shoot, this is gonna be the sexiest superhero movie in the world. I don't even care about the rest of it. Can we just have a Storm Psylocke movie? <laughs> Can I just have those two on screen for like an hour and a half? I'm good. Best movie ever. Deserves all the Oscars. Get out of my face, <laughs> Mad Max and Star Wars. <laughs> this is it. The Psylocke Storm movie. Andre approves. It'll be a poster of it with the two on the poster and just my face in the corner going, I approve. Dang, man. Woo. That was hot. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> we also see Angel fighting. It looks like he's fighting Nightcrawler because you see somebody disappear and then reappear behind him. That's a Nightcrawler thing to do. Now help me out here because, you know, I wear glasses. I got bad eyes. So it looks to me like in that shot they showed in the big game spot in the commercial, it looks like Angel has regular wings, like feathers. But then in the trailer, the first trailer they showed a while back, it looks like those wings look a little bit more metallic. I, I can't tell if it's the shadowing or how the shot of that is, but to me it looks Looks like the different wings and I know I've heard from the comic book folk Angel had the regular wings got chopped off then he got the metal wings from Apocalypse who happens to be in this movie so you know it would make sense becomes Archangel so I'm just wondering if that's legit I can't tell if it's just 
my brain, my thinking, my theorizing part, or if that's just my eyeballs being stupid. I don't know. Do I have stupid eyeballs or did you see the same thing? Let me know. And speaking of eyeballs, we also see Cyclops' eyeballs. We actually see him blasting his lasers from his eyes. There's a lot of eyes in this. There's Apocalypse eyes and there's Cyclops eyes. There's my eyes that keep looking at Psylocke. And you remember how I said I was upset about the X-Men Apocalypse trailer where we didn't get any Mystique as Mystique, like it was just shots of Jennifer Lawrence, but we wanted to see some shots of Mystique in her blue makeup and everything. Well, Apocalypse Apocalypse was like, I got her for you. Hold on. Just grab her by the neck. Hey, there she is. This is what you wanted, Andre? Did you want to see Jennifer Lawrence in blue makeup? Well, I got her by the neck right here. Do you see it? Seriously, Apocalypse has his hand gripped on Mystique's neck. And this also brings up an interesting question. If Mystique is blue and you choke her, what color does she turn? The Smurfs would like to know. And it's so weird to watch Apocalypse be so evil when you know in the back of your mind, that's Oscar Isaac. That's Poe Dameron. Everyone loves Poe and then now he shows up in Apocalypse and then wants to take over the entire world. So that's how they get you. They get you to love him. And then once you love them, they're like, all right, you love me now. I can do no wrong. Let me show my true colors. Bam. Now I'm going to destroy your world. <laughs> it's entertaining, man. I mean, I'm somewhat excited for this. The problem that I have with this, this is just a real issue, is I love X-Men Days of Future Past. I thought X-Men First Class was okay. I know some people love X-Men First Class, and I can't get on your level. I'm sorry. Days of Future Past was interesting to me because it's like, okay, they got a thing going on with the old X-Men and the new X-Men, which are the older X-Men. You know what I'm trying to say. But this one is like, all right, we're back to X-Men babies. And so I'm like, okay, I just want to get hyped for the X-Men babies, and this looks like an interesting story for the X-Men babies, but I'm just hoping that the energy that the second movie gave, the Days of Future Past gave, transfers over to Apocalypse, and if it does, I'm good, and if it doesn't, then that's okay. I'll just get some great screenshots of Storm and Psylocke, and I'll be fine anyway. But what do you think, Play Cousins? Are you excited for the Samantha Mumba of superhero movies, <laughs> or are you more hyped for X-Men Apocalypse than maybe you are for some of these other movies that everyone else is talking about so much? You could be that one. I think I'm done with these things. Are there any other big game commercials I need to talk about? You let me know. And for more superhero goodness, make sure you tune in tonight, Wednesday, February 10th, to Mega Movie Get Together on Screen Junkies Plus. Before we go see Deadpool, we're gonna watch that other superhero Ryan Reynolds classic. 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're not signed up for Screen Junkies Plus, make sure you sign up for a free trial, screenjunkies.com slash Andre. Make sure you capitalize the A in Andre, and you can watch along with us. And if you watch this video after February 10th, then sorry, you missed it, but you can watch the archive. But, you know, be live next time. Stop looking at those pictures of Psylocke and <laughs> pay attention. <laughs> I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000 Chain Chomp. Yelp.